Hi there, I'm Beth and I'm here with Jared. And we're going to be talking about Disney limited edition dolls and trying to acquire them. There was just a doll release today for the Rapunzel limited edition doll and we'll be talking about that. But wanted to go back a little bit in time to this past March. We released a video where we talked about the release of the Frozen Anna and Elsa dolls. We did fortunately find a really nice seller on eBay who had just bought the dolls because they wanted to get the key and they didn't want to get ripped off on eBay for the key. So they sold it for a really reasonable price to us. With all the added costs, I still think they paid a little bit for that key. They didn't come out even. So that was really nice of them. Yeah. yeah, collectors helping each other out. That's really nice. Yeah. So Beth did end up getting those dolls. And I made the comment in that video that instead of paying these higher prices off of someone who's reselling these dolls on eBay, we might just have to let it go. So we did recently come out also with a parody video. And so if you check that out and you notice that there's an ad on there, it was copyright claimed by Disney. So be assured that all of that money is going to support Disney. And with the trouble that they're going through lately, they can really use the support, I think. A lot of layoffs. Our bad parody is going to help them out big time. Yeah, so you can check that parody out. But I wanted to talk more about the high reselling cost. And what I mean by that is if someone is buying these dolls in order to resell them, on eBay, they not only have to cover their initial costs that they spent to buy the doll, but then they have to pay these reselling costs in order to just break even. And so that would include the shipping cost, which varies widely based on how far or close you are. So we'll just say, say it costs $20 for shipping and also the insurance that most sellers would want to buy. And $20 is a very conservative number because it could be a lot higher than that. Then you have to pay tax again. And so that's a reselling cost. Tax is actually charged twice, if you wanna think about it that way when you're buying from eBay. So that's another $10 right there. And for something that costs that much, you're looking at $22 about in eBay and PayPal fees. So add that up, that's $52. Even with that cheaper shipping price, you're looking at over $50 just in reselling cost. So it seems wasteful, really. Instead of just being able to buy it, you're actually going to turn around and buy it off someone for $52 more just for them to be able to break even. And of course, they're looking to make a profit. So it doesn't seem to be a very good setup actually buying these dolls off of eBay sellers. But it does seem for this release that happened today that Disney does seem to be stopping these bots because these people who are buying these dolls to resell them use these bots in order to be able to purchase them faster than anyone else can. And I will say that it was 12 minutes after the doll first came out online and the doll was still in stock today. So that was pretty good. It wasn't yeah. like you had to worry about the doll selling out faster than you could check out today anyway. Yeah, at least from our experience. If you guys have a different experience, please feel free to leave a comment below. We'd be interested to know how it was for you if you were also collecting this. So Disney used this waiting room method in order to try to stop the bots and it seems like it worked pretty well. It's good to give credit where credit is due too, that at least for now, this waiting room method seemed to have slowed down the bots. I, yeah. I, I've typed Disney when things don't go right. I let them know. So hopefully my input has helped. But yeah, if you don't complain, no one knows. But yeah, it did seem a lot easier this time. Yeah, and another thing I'm thinking about these bots is if you think back to when they were using these methods where you had to check all the boxes that had a bus or a crosswalk or something, and apparently those weren't working because the bots, the bots were still getting through and humans were having a hard time <laughs> doing those a lot of times. If they're not easy either. They're like, it, they're like these cars can blend in with the picture. You have to have really good eyes. It's yeah. <laughs> so apparently those weren't working. But what that teaches us is that it seems like 
that you come out with something to try to stop these bots and then eventually the hackers that are writing these programs just view that as a challenge and so they're going to be out to meet that challenge eventually and figure out how to get around whatever measures. Yeah. Cars, right? That's what they'd ask for. Like Either cars or buses or crosswalks. Like or... in the picture and it's a photo. It's not even like really bright and colorful. It's like just a normal photograph. Anyway, I hate I hate when they do that. <laughs> I really do. Sometimes have the stoplights. You have to... The stop... At least those are red. They stand out a little more. I... <laughs> Yeah, so the release went pretty smoothly today, and we were able to get the doll that Beth wanted. Yeah, looks like it. The order got confirmed, so, so far so good. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of you who have been supporting our channel. We really appreciate it, as always. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. Feel free to leave a comment, and thanks so much again. Bye. Bye.